Pisces, welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin. And Pisces, today, let's do an energy check-in. Let's just check on on the collective. Let's see what's going on, what's been going on. Let's see where the emphasis is. Let's see how it'll play out. Let's just talk about the Pisces collective and see what's going on. Spirit guides. All right, Pisces, we have mending. So you could be working on something within yourself. There could be someone that wants to mend and uh, fix something that maybe created a rift or a separation. Let's find out. We'll see what the card means. Where's the emphasis for you? Ooh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> the seventh house. Okay. So the area of your life is about long-term partners, romantic, business, or family. So I think that's pretty obvious. We're coming into a love reading here. Or it could be a family member, but I think it's more of love. We'll see. Someone wants to work things out very clearly, Pisces. That's the energy around you. Let's talk about it. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how you feel about that. Let's see how this presents and plays out for you. Let's talk about you. Spirit guys, what's this energy around Pisces? Who wants to work things out? What do we need to know? What up with the collective? We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Four of Wands. Okay. So definitely an element of revolving around the home with the Four of Wands here. Wow. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want to be single no more. They want to be with you, Pisces. <laughs> and Pisces... I can't remember if I said this, but for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one, the link is in the description box below. So I definitely, yeah, there's the four pentacles. One more card and we'll get into this reading. The devil, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with the Capricorn or there could be some toxic energy. We'll find out. There's the eight of pentacles though. There's the mending and there's the queen of swords. Someone very serious, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but you might be angry with this person let's find out because we have the ace of wands and we have the four of wands so the spark in the flame of passion has not tied in your person here pisces they still see you as family they still want to connect with you um they want a fresh start they want a new beginning that's for sure the king of pentacles in reverse though i kind of feel like this is them saying well let's see what they want to say because when a court card comes in a reading in reverse it can represent someone who's having a negative influence on your life but the way that I initially took it was this person feeling lost without you, right? You know what they say, you want to find the person that you can't live without, not the person you can live with. And this is like a can't live without style of energy. This is like life sucks without Pisces. My, my home is empty. My life is empty. My heart is empty. What's the king? Nothing has meaning. Uh, what's the king of pentacles in reverse? What does Pisces need to know about this king of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, the ace of cups. I'm hearing beside themselves. Yeah, they're invested. They don't want to let this go. They really do want to put the work in here, Pisces. They're hurt and lonely without you. They can't let it go. They can't. So they're coming through telling you exactly what I thought, exactly what I just said. <laughs> uh, they do not want to be single. However, we do have this little element down here. We have the devil with the four of pentacles. What is this? What is the four of pentacles here? What is the four star? Ten of Swords in reverse. Whoa. Okay. The Three of Pentacles. The Devil. The Nine of Pentacles. The King of Cups. Um, this person's not coming to tell you that they can't live without you. So that's how they're feeling. They don't want you to know that. They, that would make them too vulnerable. I don't know how you're going to feel about that. So this person has been very traumatized. The Ten of Swords in reverse is very similar to the Tower. It's a traumatic energy. It's a very dis, dis, disempowering energy. It's a very disembobulated energy. I don't know why I'm using these words, but it is. Um, this person is not going to be telling you everything I said. They're going to be holding back. They don't want to make themselves overly vulnerable to you, Pisces, and put themselves in a position to get hurt. So they will be holding back. They do want to work on this. They're going to tell you what they need. You know, you're going to be on like a need to know basis. They're not going to tell you that they can't live without you. Um, they're going to hold back a little bit. Like I said, they don't want to be vulnerable. I don't know if that's a gaslighting energy. I don't know if it's an abusive or a manipulative. So let's get a card on the devil. They could simply just be a Capricorn. Um, the Knight of Swords. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Emperor. They don't want the power to be in your hands. Oh, shit. We got a power struggle here, Pisces. They are not. So... They, <laughs> the devil is obsession and lust. 
Um, they're positive though, that you feel the same way about them. They're positive though, that they can work this out with you, but they don't want to give the power to you. So it's like, they, they don't want you to have the power in this relationship. They don't want you to know how much you mean to them, right? They don't want there to be like a power imbalance here. You might have to be maybe the first ones to open up in that sense. We'll see how it plays out. So this devil energy is them trying not to get into that energy. They, like, uh, like I said, they just, they don't want there to be an element where the power is in your hands and not theirs in this relationship. They don't want to make themselves too vulnerable. Let's get their long-term intentions then. What are their long-term intentions? What is long-term? What do they want with Pisces here? What are their long-term intentions? Pisces. The seven of swords, the knight of pentacles, the high priestess, the emperor, the knight of wands. To be the devil, to be temptation. Uh, they're holding. <laughs> what the fudge? So, well, their intentions are to take things really slow with you, to be withdrawn from you, to be stubborn and make you think that they're husband or wife potential, and then flake. They don't want you to have the power. This is someone who can't live without you and they can't handle it. This is someone where it's. I think they might be a narcissist or there might be some manipulative energy here, Pisces. They're going to be putting on the charm. We got Rico Suave. We got Fabio coming in the house. I don't know who the feminine Fabio is. I say it all the time. No one's ever told me. Men, who is the feminine Fabio? I don't know. Um, Cameron Diaz, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. Um, but they don't like that they love you more than you love them. And that will continually force this person to treat you less than stellar Pisces because they don't want you to have that power over them. This person's toxic and unhealthy. And I'm sorry to say that, but their intentions long-term are not to be honest with you. Okay, Pisces, <laughs> that's what I have. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So let's grab some oracles. I want to see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot. We'll see how this plays out. And we'll see what you do here. What's the spirit animal, first of all? Spirit animal message here for Pisces frog transition. This is a powerful time of change. You're being called to connect with the world of emotions and feminine energy. You might also need to engage in a process of cleansing, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, or energetic. Let's get the current connection between this person and you. What's the current connection here? Your spiritual journey is beginning. There's definitely a spiritual transition and growth here and intense. And the intensity of a true soul connection will include great highs and great lows. Okay, let's get the hidden truth. If they could say something, they're not saying that they want to say they should. Maybe they shouldn't. What would it be, Pisces? Let's find out. Let's get the hidden truth. I regret lying to you. <laughs> yeah, look at this, Pisces. We both know that I'm not the one. And that's because you're a manipulative motherfucker. All right. All right, Pisces. Sorry get a little sassy sometimes. Sometimes I don't like people when I see them acting that way. And I don't like the way this person's acting towards you. Um, so I am an INFJ team. I'm the advocate. <laughs> That's my personality type. So I get a little uh, frustrated. I'm sorry. Okay, Pisces, let's get down to it. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make here. And when I say outcome, Let's see where you are in a month. Let's see how things are progressing. Oh my gosh, the world is there. The world could be not over. Typically, that's what the world will mean. But sometimes it can be somebody holding you back. Let's see what comes with it. What's on the other side? Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. The devil, the star. You wish it was different though, Pisces. You really do. There's the, <laughs> so much attraction. Whoa, the justice, the tower, and the moon. Pisces, I do feel... I feel you showed some patience, some understanding. Some of you may have given this person a second chance or a third chance or fourth or a fifth chance. If you did, it was not long lasting. Um, you realize this person's holding you back. You realize you're better off without them. You realize this person's toxic. Do you wish it was different? Yeah, but they're toxic <laughs> and you can't change who they are. So you've made the decision here to remove this person from your life. I don't think you're talking to this person at all. I think you showed enough patience. I think you gave this person enough chances. I think you showed enough compassion, empathy, and understanding to last a lifetime. No more shall this person take you for granted or take you for advantage. No more. You took off the blinders and you see this person for exactly who they are. I see a fresh start. I see a new beginning for you, Pisces. I see you removing this person from your life. 
They may not have expected it. Maybe they thought they could just come back, charm your pants off, be equal suave, Fabio, Cameron Diaz, and just do what they wanted to do, but they couldn't. Not this time. You see through them and you're not dealing with it anymore. I see a big change in the way that you're going to let people treat you, but I also see a big change in your life because this person's not welcome in it. I do see an element of wishing it was different, but it is what it is. You know that you're better off. You know that they're holding you back. Ultimately, Pisces, this person's toxic. <laughs> you know it. They're toxic and they're not welcome in your life. You're healing. You're moving forward. You're not talking to them. They're not welcome in your energy. And um, you're going to wait for the person that you deserve. Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful energy to be in. You're single. You're enjoying life. You're feeling confident. You love yourself, Pisces, and you deserve better than that. Pisces, that's what I have. That's the energy around you right now. This person's getting off the train. Choo, choo. Um, they're not welcome on your chain anymore, and your train is going to move forward. So I do hope you enjoy your reading, and I'm sorry you're dealing with someone like this, Pisces. And as always, <laughs> I do ask that if you like, comment, subscribe. If you like my channel, or sorry, let me phrase that. I'm all screwed up here because I'm all just bumbled and bobulated from this person. But if you resonated with the reading and if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It helps my channel to grow. So thank you, Pisces. I always appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Yes or no. What is the answer for Pisces? You ready, baby? Yes, that's what I have. Pisces, I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.